Hey everybody, it's me, Derek, the Chocolate Botanist, and I am walking down the street because I had told one of my sisters, I said, I'm going to go and cook. Um, number one, if you're watching this like live or you're watching this in the future on the YouTube, I need you to tell me your favorite flower. Tell me your favorite flower, okay? If you're watching this now... Or you watching this in the future on YouTube, comment your favorite flower. If you leave out of here, and you heard me say that, and you leave out of here, your credit score going to be a three. I don't make the rules. I just tell y'all what they are. So, <laughs> comment your favorite flower down below. So, we got lavender. That's beautiful. So, when y'all come in here, comment your flavor flower. Okay? I'm taking a walk down the street because I want some Five Guys burgers and fries. I say the whole name of the restaurant. I told one of my sisters I was going to go and eat me some, get me some chicken from the Walmarts. And that was a lie. I should have known it was a lie when I said it. I had just got finished seeing Agatha all along today. I'm cleaning up my second bedroom. I have a big idea. It is a gigantinormous idea of something I'm going to do for you all. And I'm really taking the time to plan for it because I'm one man. I don't have nobody um, helping me. And I don't want to be like free interns because I believe in paying people for their labor unless they offer it for free. Even then, I'd be feeling bad. But nonetheless, what y'all up to today? And this is also your chance to ask me a plant biologist a real question. There's only two of you here. The rest of the people going to have low credit scores. I didn't make the rules. I just tell the people what they are. I didn't make the rules. I just tell the people what they are. And I know I got this. Hey, that broke boy, Dizzle. You know what? I am live here. But I never go live on TikTok. This is probably a good time to try that and fail. I go went live on TikTok once. I don't know how these two guys got on my TikTok. And this is almost like the time I went live here. And there was two people trying to take over my TikTok or my live on here. I may delete this one. Why do people keep making banana water? I'm going to answer that question. Then I'm going to go on TikTok. People keep making banana water because there is a lie that this is a fertilizer. So there's a lie out by some of y'all favorite content creators who are like, the bananas are full of potassium. Not the peel. It's somehow full of potassium and it's full of all these nutrients. And when you make the banana water, those nutrients somehow just leave that banana peel and go into the water. And then you just pour that water on top, even though the peel is still solid. You didn't blend that mask up. But it's, it's that. And even if you were to blend that mass of that banana peel up, those nutrients are locked because they're not digested. And that's where I keep conversing to people to say, when you get nutrients, I just can't be like, here's sustenance and throw a steak at you, raw or cooked. I just can't. <laughs> Imagine if we treated people like plants. We may keep this one. Imagine if we did. And I was like, you know what? You look a little hungry. And I take a pie and I smash it on your face. Would that feed you? Sure, some of that pie got onto your mouth. But is it going on into you? Is it really a, a substantial amount? It's not in a form that is sustainable to you. Or even if the banana peel is not being digested, you say you're hungry, okay? You say you want breakfast, I give you some wheat, some chicken eggs, uncooked. I get you, you said you want breakfast, you said you want some pork sauces, I get you a couple of pigs, they not nowhere near dead, they yet running around. You wouldn't be able to eat that. The cow has some milk in the udders that hasn't been pasteurized, you gotta squeeze it out. You have to go through a lot to eventually be able to eat that food. Thank you for saying I have the best explanations. It's understanding science. Sidebar. If, I, if you understand science, you don't have to talk all the way up here. I can do that. I could say plants and nutrient absorption through the roots of the plants, up the phloem, down the xylem, always get those backwards, 
the, it it takes the the nutrients being actually available in an ionic form that the plants would take, which could take somebody's microbial interactions and or the chemical reactions between ion transports and the thing. I could go into that. Why do I need to say that to you all? I don't. But the other part of that is I can't dumb down the science where it doesn't make sense when I do understand it. So jumping back into this, I gave you that breakfast example. It would take you forever to take that cow, those eggs, and then prepare it versus me saying, hey, no, I got it. It's right here. Same with rice water. There's a, st- and in, even on a different thing with the starch water and the banana water, there's a certain amount of starch that's available in that water. A scant amount compared to the amount of starch that makes up the entirety of the rice, right? The phosphorus, there's a small amount of that banana that is phosphorus compared to the entirety of that banana peel that you got in water. But does that stuff even extract in a water extraction what fertilizers have you bought organic or inorganic this is a question i ask people fertilizers you've bought organic or inorganic that are like hey oh i'm sorry i thought i saw something out here walking with me i was about to drop this phone and run Uh, (laughs) um what fertilizer have you seen organic or inorganic that was like hey we got starches we got the most starch You've not seen that in a box of miracle Grow. You've never seen that in any of your um, espomas. What's some other brands of fertilizers we get? Arbor. Arbor is organic. They don't have it. You've never seen it in the that B vitamin one. I can't remember the name of that one. The B vitamin one. I used to love that stuff because I used to think that was some, some legit stuff. You don't see fish emulsions plus starch. You don't see just a concentrate of starch to feed your plants because they they don't they don't necessarily need all of that there. that's not beneficial now if you're trying to feed your microbial populations if you're trying to beef up your soil phenomenal rice water that starch can go to your microbial populations and that can eventually help your soil uh, biome Get your soil health up and running and getting your soil health up and running and making sure your soil is nice and healthy can help your plants be joyous. And for those of you wondering, this is your time to ask me questions. I'm going to take a couple of questions and I'm going to jump on TikTok and go live. When I go live on TikTok, my eyes look like that um, judge off of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But I killed your brother. I sounded just like this. And his eyes just, and it was a, that's how my eyes will be looking at TikTok because I'm like, oh, this is confusing. I am old. But that answers the question of banana water. Don't do banana water. Don't do rice water. If it's, I put this plant in water, unless it's a decomposition process, it's worthless. Those are decomposition processes are composting, which compost isn't fertilizer, but it helps to feed your soil microbia, your soil microbe and your soil biome. If it is fermentation, those are decomposition. If it's just manure, something ate it and pooped it out, that was a decomposition process. If it's not decomposed, it's an O-nose. I say O-nose if it ain't decomposed. That's what we say. We try to make that rhyme. Any other questions before I hop off of this? Next question. Why can I never sprout an avocado seed, but my friends can? Do they actually hate me? What are your friends doing? And what do they have that you don't? So if you and your friends do it in the same house at the same time and you all do the same exact thing, that's one thing. But if they are using, Maurice is funny, if they are using um, a southern facing window and it doesn't, um, there's no vent over that window, you know, they have water that doesn't have a high chlorine concentration, potentially. They're checking on it. They're a little mindful of that plant. Then they're going to have a different result than you. If you are in a northern facing window, you look at that plant every here and there, 
and you literally like, mm. and this vent is blowing on it, but it don't matter. When you are setting up your world for these plants, and this is where I really stress the importance of failure, that helps you to learn. There's a lot of y'all's plants favorites, and some of mine who do not showcase how beautiful their space is in comparison to yours. And I will tell you all, I have grow lights, three of them, one, two. I have several grow lights, actually. I got more than three now. When I think about the other ones, I have heating pads. I have all types of fertilizers. I was cleaning out my second bedroom today. <laughs> if anybody in the triangle of North Carolina needs soil, plastic pots, or somebody's slow release fertilizer, I have so much. I, <laughs> I was like, I have a problem. Why am I like this? Why do I have so much fertilizer? All types of slow releases. I've bought in over the years, all types of soils, because I recycle soil. I have a problem. I have a problem. So if you're in the triangle and you need soil, plastic pots of various sizes, from the one inches to the um, 10, 20 inches, please hit me up in my DMs. Come and pick them up from me. I have all types of soil, all types of stuff. But it is hoarding. It's not even just botany hoarding. I hoard all types of random stuff. I'm trying to get better in my old age. But I try to let y'all know I have all this stuff. So, of course, my plants are going to look beautiful compared to yours. And there's sometimes where I had a lot of death. It is what it is. Love you too, bro. You have a love, not a problem. Look, I got both. And for those of y'all wondering about the boiled egg water, please don't do that. That calcium is not leaching into your water and it's not in a place. Because I've seen that online too. The boiled eggs. You take the eggshells, you boil them in water, and now you got this calcium fertilizer. You don't. <laughs> chemistry doesn't work that way the calcium has to be in a place available you need a chemical reaction you need an acidic solution to get that calcium out huh so let's I want to keep this live up after all again I'm walking to the five guys burgers and fries if you are in North Carolina within the Raleigh Durham area and you're like Derek I need a bunch of pots or some pots, or a few pots, or a medium-sized amount of pots. You need somebody's soil. Please let me know. Question, does soil have a shelf life? I almost skipped over that one. It does not. So, I will recycle soil. This is how I have so much. I've gotten a lot over my time. The past job I had, those of you who've been following me for a while know I used to work in a greenhouse back in the day. It's hard to believe it was a couple of years ago. It feels like forever ago. Um, and I had access to so many things. And I would get all the soil I could take because it was, with the way some of the machines would work, there'd be like a stump. It's hard to describe without seeing the picture. But like a block of soil that the machines couldn't take. So we would just take this peat mix. And then I recycle soil from dead plants, beef it up, use it for my new plants. So I don't have a... And then people send me soil because they're like, Derek, try my soil out and tell me how it works. Because they, they think if they send me stuff for free, it'll convince me to put it on Instagram. And I want people to know people, black folks' labor should never be free. But unless they choose. You shouldn't go into it with that exception and that understanding. You should, you should offer something. Offer me five, ten dollars Jesus. Slavery ended with Abe Lincoln. But... I have so much soil. And some of this soil I've been reusing now for at least five years. At the most, several years. More than five. Sometimes ten. Some pots have soil and it. it was probably 20, 30 years old. Some amount of that is mixed out throughout all the soil. Not to mention how old it was. The peat bogs were. 
or the cocoa core shells were prior to us getting them. So soil does not have a shelf life. Now, if it's super wet, if you have it that's super moist, if it was cut open or something, it may get moldy, it may have some fungal or insect issue, but that's not a shelf life, that's just, it's now been contaminated. And now you have to sanitize it. I need to do a video about sanitizing soil too and how I do it. Please don't sanitize soil in your ovens if you can avoid it, because sometimes that soil can release chemicals into your ovens and unless you're going back and like literally just cleaning and sanitizing the oven like wiping it out you could potentially give yourself a sickness that you don't need but again i'm derek the chocolate botanist i'm here i'm going to sit here for it's now 8 41 in my eastern standard time i'm going to wait till it says 8 40 2 8 43 before i go off and Jump on the TikTok, which I'm probably not going to do. I'm just going to probably do TikTok when I walk back. Would I let it sun dry? Hey, Kate. I have let soil sun dry before. Um, it's a good way to sanitize it, especially if you have like a good setup where it could just get like 120, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's the temperature that most pathogens are just like knocked out that we would typically deal with without using a chemical additive. But typically if I'm drying out soil in the home, actually I don't even do it in the home. I don't dry out soil in the home. Typically I just mix it up, mix it up, mix it up and let it, oh, the moon looks so beautiful tonight. Mix it up, mix it up, hope for the best. Okay, it's 8.42. I'm gonna wait now to 8.43 to answer any last questions before I go across all this traffic. Make sure these people ain't trying to come and run me over. Take out this botanist. And again, those of y'all seeing this in the future, you can ask your questions on the Instagram or the YouTube and I will answer them to the best of my ability. I don't know everything, but I do know how to look up legitimate information. Which is going into that thing I've been talking about where I'm like, I got this idea. Because I really want to show you all how to science better. So y'all aren't tricked by y'all's cousin Hamilton and these other people who just recycle the same Pinterest ideas. You are an amazing teacher. So glad to hear your knowledge. Thank you, Farm Biz Live. And so, that was it. This is now 8.43. I... I'm going to finish crossing the street. I want you all to know that if you kill somebody's plant, including your own, it doesn't make you a failure. If y'all are especially following what some of these people say, where they tell y'all to pour all sorts of concoctions onto your plants, because it's going to help your plant stay alive and help your plant do X, Y, Z, and one, two, three. It was probably that concoction. My grandma used to say that about me as a child. One thing I'll share with y'all is I used to mix together all sorts of random crap as a child and literally ferment plant parts in like three liter jug, gallon, three uh, liter, uh, three gallon, was it three liter or three gallon? I think it was a liter, three liter soda bottles. Ferment all types of plant pieces back when I was a child. And she's like, you and these concoctions, you're going to blow yourself up one day. That's what she used to tell me. <laughs> you and these concoctions. Uh, remember that concoction? And y'all have to be careful with these concoctions. Because y'all may not blow up yourself in a dangerous way, but you may blow up your plant palace and your plant peacefulness, your garden of contentment and such. You may throw that OE, adding banana water and plant smoothies to your plants. And then you're like, why do I have all these fungus gnats? Huh. So needless to say, don't let the concoction get you down. I'm about to eat my Five Guys burgers and fries and think about a life that was simpler. Back when I didn't have bills, and I didn't have to worry 
about credit scores and none of that stuff. An easier life. A simple, simple, simple life. So anyway, y'all go ahead. <laughs> Was that single? Single, single. Anyway, y'all have a good one. And I will talk at y'all. Whoever on TikTok can talk to y'all later. <laughs>